Piers Morgan, 55, seems at his wit's end with his nemesis Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, and appeared to blow a fuse when he found out he was planning to release a tell-all memoir about his hardship. The book, for which HES being paid a reported $20 million, is said to be going to charity but the former Good Morning Britain host WASNT impressed with the timing of it all. In his latest Daily Mail column, the controversial presenter shared his somewhat explosive views on the latest update from the Sussexes, blasting Harry for clashing with the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Harry's timing, as always, is horrendously selfish, Piers penned. The book is coming out next year, 2022 a year that is supposed to be all about celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, marking her 70 years of service to her country. He added, it's a stunning achievement for a woman who came to the throne when she was just 25, 11 years younger than her grandson is today. But now, yet again, focus will be deflected away from Her Majesty and back to the attention-seeking grandson whose visceral hatred of the media is now only matched by his addiction to using the same media for self-promotional reasons. He knows how wrong this is but doesn't give a sh asterisk t. Piers went on to note that he also didnt care when he spray gunned the royals on primetime US TV as his grandfather was dying. He wants to cash in on the royal status to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars, whilst simultaneously bleating on about how much he hates being a royal, the host continued to complain. He wants to lecture us all on stuff like climate change whilst using his celebrity mate's private jets like taxis. And when he says, no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. Who is he trying to kid? The news of Harry's pending book caused quite the stir on social media, leaving Piers completely flabbergasted. You've got to be f asterisk 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 ing joking. He laughed on Twitter, after ITV News Chris Ship shared this announcement. He posted, new. Prince Harry will write his memoirs at Penguin Random calls it an intimate and heartfelt memoir from one of the most fascinating and influential global figures of our time. He will share his adventures, losses, and life lessons, says the publisher. Out in late 2022. In the book, Harry says that he is writing his memoirs, not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. As ever, the mixed reactions from the public began to flood in with one agreeing with Piers' sentiment, guess he had to do something to try and upstage the Queen's Jubilee. Another added, fascinating and influential global figure. Surely they mean the Queen. Harry has nailed the private life, hasn't he? Hardly hear from him these days, a third joked. A fourth said, as someone who wants to stay out the limelight how comes he keeps popping up every day on various outlets? When will it end? When will they finally walk away for that privacy they desperately wanted? A fifth moaned. Whereas others backed his decision to tell his side of the story, with one saying, good for him. Everyone writes about him and now it is his turn. A second agreed. About time, good for him, showing you can revive from trauma and survive no matter where you came from. He's a brave man, they will rip him to pieces but he's challenging a dated system that he clearly questioned himself.